Hello, in this video, we're going to do an indefinite integral. We have the integral of pi to the x times e to the pi to the x with respect to x. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. We're gonna start by making a substitution. I'm gonna let u be equal to pi to the x. Set u equal to pi to the x. And now we have to take the derivative of both sides of this equation. Before we do, let me just refresh your memory. If you have, say, a to the x, and you want the derivative of this with respect to x, this is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. So over here, taking the derivative on the left-hand side, we get du. On the right-hand side, we get pi to the x times the natural log of pi and then we have the dx. This no notation we're using here, by the way, is called differential notation. Normally you would say du dx is equal to pi to the x ln pi, right? If you just took the derivative of u with respect to x. But here you notice the dx is on the right-hand side. So it's just another way of taking derivatives. Basically, it's like we're multiplying by dx. So this is equivalent to what we have here. It's the same thing, just different notation. Okay, now that we're here, we need to make this look like what's in our integral up here. So you notice we have this extra ln pi. So let's get rid of it. So divide by ln pi, divide by ln pi. This is gone, so we have du over the natural log of pi. I'll write it up here. equals, and then we have pi to the x dx. So now it's better. Now we have pi to the x dx, and we've gotten rid of this ln pi because there's no ln pi in the problem up here. I'm going to rewrite this one more time as 1 over the natural log of pi du is equal to pi to the x dx. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right, we're ready to make our substitution. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the original problem one more time. So our integral was the integral of pi to the x, and it was e to the pi to the x dx. Okay, this is gonna be equal to, so we're gonna replace pi to the x dx with one over lm pi du. So this that I'm underlining here is gonna become this. I'm going to pull out that 1 over ln pi, constant. And then here we just have the du. So far, the only thing I've replaced is the things that have been underlined here, right? So pi to the x dx has been replaced with 1 over ln pi and the du. What's left is e to the pi x. But we know something about pi x. It's equal to pi to the x, rather. It's equal to u. This will be e to the u. And this becomes the easiest integral in the world because the integral of e to the u is e to the u. We have 1 over the natural log of pi times, and then e to the u, but u is pi to the x. Plus our constant of integration, capital C. So I skipped a step, it's e to the u, and then you replace u with pi to the x. But that would be the final answer. So kind of a, an interesting problem, a little bit different than um, a lot of the problems you see. And again, when you see a problem like this, the very beginning of the problem, what you want to do is you want to think about substitutions, right? And immediately when you look at this, you used to think, hey, pi to the x, well, if u is equal to pi to the x, then the derivative of u, or at least some form of it or some multiple of it is going to appear here. And it, and it does, right? You get pi to the x ln pi the x. So you just have to adjust that by eliminating the ln pi and then continuing with your substitution to, to finish. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful, and hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Good luck.